This is the wise breaking warframe, and today, the Mara Detron. And this is a special weapon because it is a weapon you can buy in its completion. From this bastard right over here, Barrel Katir. Uh, every two weeks, he comes to trade with you. And there you can get this gun if you want it. You can buy it from him with ducats. Ducats! And uh, yeah, now you know. But this video isn't about how you get the Mara Death One. It is about how you give it a great build. And coincidentally, this is the first one. And it is a radiation and viral build. This weapon has a lot of innate radiation damage. So every build will have a little bit of radiation. But this one has the most. And... It is great against alloy armor and infested sinew. Of course, we have the multi shots and the extra damage with the Hornet Strike and the Magnum Force, and of course, the mods that create radiation and viral damage. Now, looky looky here, we are at a tower mission, and look, look at this beautiful gun. Do you see the projectiles coming from it? So. You know exactly where your pellets go. And it, and it is not just one pellet or one bullet. There are loads of them going all into the face of your enemy. Reinforcements are in but as you can see, the gun does pretty well. But it also has its disadvantages. But first, look at this. Do you see the pellets or the bullets? Look at all, the, and all those little points have damage on them. Can you believe that? Those projectiles do have some travel time and the magazine is pretty small. So my personal opinion about this weapon is that it doesn't do a lot of damage. But because of the high fire rate and the lots of bolitos coming out of the gun, you can kill yourself a lot of enemies. That is always the goal we are going for, right? Right! And that's why I say get this gun not for its for its prowess of killing others no get this gun because it is special it is different it is a little bit red with a glow on it just get it because of that and you can only get it by buying it from Baro Katir. so now that we have got that out of the way it is time for a corrosive build and of course a little bit of radiation because it is innate in this weapon Again, with the multi shot and the Hornet Strike and the Magnum Force for some extra damage. And of course, the mods that create corrosive damage. So, here we are, killing Grenier Bast. Again, with the beautiful Mara Death Throne. Not doing a lot of damage, but because I go close up, use my weapon a lot, it will kill everybody that stands in my way. As you can see, I keep one-shotting these bats. So, again, this weapon, it has its ups and downs. One tip I can give you though is that do not try to use this weapon at a long range because it will not work as well. Now, let's change it up a little bit. 
and go for a magnetic and radiation build with again the multi shot and some extra damage with the hornet strike but of course we got the mods to get our magnetic damage and when do we use magnetic damage and on who well i always use magnetic damage on anything that is robotic so i thought to myself what bastard deserves it the most then i thought well there is a boss called the hyena pack where there are different kinds of robotic coming at you so here we are killing the hyena pack and that went more quickly than i thought so the mara death drone everybody it it looks like it is a crap weapon but after all it is pretty good one shots enemies and even kills big ass boss so i hope you enjoyed it check me out in all my other videos and i hope to see you there adios oh here we are in a dangerous mission only flying look how beautiful the sephir is only flying there are no enemies inside because she is too fast too fast for all their asses and oh she died well serious now look at this we got a big flipping map and now you can see the sephir only flying it is hard ladies and gentlemen you need practice practice like the master i am and have some fun i hope you enjoyed it